Hello everyone, it's Vicky here today designing for Bramble Fox and I'm using a perspective from the July Fox Box. Um, I'm going to start out with the Sunshine and Blue Skies perspective and this fabulous paper by Ovid Marshall. It's um, a map of the world obviously and I just took a photo of it so that when I cut this out I can reassemble it in the correct place. I kind of know what the world looks like but you know, I just thought I better get it right otherwise it will look ridiculous. So I'm going to cut out all of the big pieces. There are a couple of little islands that don't get included. I noticed the UK wasn't on it so I felt comfortable getting rid of other islands too. So um, yeah, <laughs> not that I feel bitter or anything but um, there you go. So next up I've got some Distress Oxides and some gesso here. So this is um, clear gesso from Art Basics and I'm just going to put it all over the page and I will let it dry. In fact I didn't let it dry, I used the heat tool but um, I'll skip through that part anyway, you don't have to watch me using the heat tool. I'm using a silicone brush there to put it on and I find that works really well. So by the power of video we're going to skip through that there we go it's now dry and I'm going to take these two distress oxides and just scrape a little bit on top of the page where the gesso is and what that does is it allows it allows me to add water and move it around the page if I didn't have gesso and I did that I would not be able to do this so just be aware of that you could use the packaging technique but I wanted to do this for now so um this is where I'm starting with my mixed media background. The colours I'm using are Peacock Feathers and I think Faded Jeans is the name of the other one. I haven't got it here but um, I'm pretty sure it's Faded Jeans. Yeah, Faded Jeans. I got it. So I'm just drying again with my heat tool and, and the nice thing about this is it pushes those splodges of water around the page a bit and makes it look even more textured. And I quite like that effect. So I'm going to skip through a bit of that. Um, and it's now pretty much dry. And I just used some kitchen towel to finish it off. Now I'm going to use the packaging technique. I just put some ink from the pad onto a piece of plastic. And then I'm just going to spray it with water and then put it around the page. And this makes it much more vibrant. And um, I like the effect that this gives me. So I'm going to use my brush to move it around a bit so it's a bit less neat. There we go, dried that, power of video again. And now I'm going to do some splatters in the two colours. No, in fact, I'm only going to do splatters in the dark colour. And then I will roll my kitchen towel over it again to dry those off a little bit. There we go. So I'm really happy with that background. There's lots of... Um, variation in colour and depth there and I think it looks really nice. So I'm just going to reassemble my uh, map pieces on back onto the, sorry, globe pieces I guess, back onto the page. So I kept the cut out as you saw before and, and I'm just going to put that on and then stick the piece into the cut out. So I'm not going to show you that whole process because in the meantime I'm putting foam on the back as well before I stick it down for some added dimension. So there we go, they're all stuck down and so now I will take away the excess pieces and you'll see that everything is in the correct place. Fantastic. Good, I'm happy with that. I love the mixed media behind those swirly, swirly countries and I just think that looks really cute. So just tidying up my desk there and getting ready for the next step. So this is my photo, it's of my goddaughter just playing on the beach and I thought it went really well with sunshine and blue skies. We were in Portugal so um, I'm putting it over Europe so um, yeah, it kind of uh, works for that. I, it actually ends up a bit further over but um, for now it's just there. So I've got some, <coughs> oh, excuse me, I've got some pieces here from um, Coco Vanilla. This is the Sunkissed collection and it goes really, really well with that pay paper that I've used. So I'm using a few bits and pieces from that collection and I'm going to use them to go around my photo. And then I'm going to have the perspective at the bottom, as you see it there at the bottom of the picture. Not quite sure what I'm doing here while well, this is completely gone still. My editing skills have presumably um, 
evaded me. Here we go. <laughs> Where was I? <laughs> it will never know. So, okay, so here we go. So just arranging my um, bits and pieces around the photo and I've moved the photo over a bit and um, chosen an umbrella, an ice cream, some trees and a sun. So I'm going to, ah, here we go. So I'm gonna look at some papers to back my photo. This is again, the Cocoa Vanilla Sunkiss Collection. And I'm just gonna use a pink and a yellow because um, that goes really well with the background paper and blends in there well. And I'm just, I'm sort of cutting a couple of the sides and then ripping, having a bit of rip on there. And I play with that a little bit. That shadow was my husband bringing me a cup of tea, I think. So, lucky me. <laughs> Maybe that's where I went to say, make me a cup of tea. <laughs> anyway, I got one, so that's good. So layering up my photo, as I said, um, some double-sided tape there. Just gives a subtle border around the photo, so it separates it from the background. And I'm going to cut the white off of the pieces of ephemera. Um, when I've got a busy background like this I prefer to take the white off just so that it doesn't stand out so much and I cut through that. I, I cut it around all the pieces, the umbrella and the ice cream and the flip-flops as well. So I've got these little wood pieces here and they're going to go onto the layout. They're also cocoa vanilla. And you can see how that um, perspective just pops up there, pops off the page, and I think it looks really sweet. So I'm going to put some foam on the back of the photo. And now I'm going to stick the perspective. So I'm going to put a little foam pad under the centre of the sun because the photo's popped up and the map is popped up. So actually it's going to go quite high once I place this on top of the photo. So the the foam pad, the I put a really thick foam pad underneath the sun is going to help that to stand up and stay in place. So I'm just putting some foam behind the other pieces of ephemera that I've put on there. And I'm gonna stick the photo down. <clears throat> I actually stuck the trees flat, um, but the ice cream and the umbrella I popped up. Okay. So you'll see what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to put a bit of glue where it's going to stick onto the photo and then the foam pad under the sun. So underneath it at the bottom, it's not stuck at all to the page, but that's okay. I don't mind that um, at all. It makes my albums bulky, but I can live with that. <laughs> I'm just making sure the pieces are stuck down. This is a little piece of flair from... Um, dotty about flair and it says wonder to find wonder and I thought that was really sweet and very appropriate for this layout. Just adding a foam pad under that little piece there, that's um, South America. <laughs> and these little clear stickers, I'm just going to put one of those underneath the title. I love clear stickers, they they just look really nice with mixed media, I think. Okay, some little puffy clouds. And I'm just cutting the white off around the sun as well before I put some foam on it and stick that down too. I think that that is pretty much it. Let me see, what am I doing? Oh, just, no, I'm just looking through my flare pieces to see if there was another one. Oh, there is. So I just wanted to introduce some blue over that side as well, because I had an odd, odd number of flare pieces. So that's the final layout. So I hope it inspires you in some way for using your fox box. Um, there are a couple of close-ups coming up for you to have a look at it, um, and you can see the mixed media a bit more closely. Um, but thank you so much for watching. This has been Vicky for Bramble Fox. Bye-bye for now.